Is the Steam Deck the only way we're going to be able to play 3DS and Wii U games in the future? Splatoon 3 leaks already and more on Switch News. Welcome back to Switch News. Yes, the weekly series. Sometimes it's more than weekly, depending on how much news there is. No news on the Direct yet though, but you know, obviously I'll let you know as soon as there is any news. But what news we do have, let's crack on with it. As soon as I recorded this video, Pokemon announced that there would be a new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer dropping today, literally one hour after this video is launched. So no doubt I'll probably talk about it on Friday if there's uh, plenty of new stuff. So the game Biomutant apparently gets another listing for Switch as it appears on Gaming Replay, a Portuguese website. Now this could totally be a mistake because it has been rumored in the past a few years ago and well, nothing came of it. So, you know, who knows? This could just be a total mistake, but it is on an actual, you know, storefront. So maybe there's some truth to it. Now, personally, I would absolutely love Biomutant on the Nintendo Switch. It came out a fair while ago on the other systems, but I never played it and it kind of gets mixed reviews. People say it's a bit boring and stuff, but visually it looks oh, so aesthetically pleasing to me. You know, it just looks amazing. And I would love to have this on the Switch portably. You know, I know it would be downgraded graphically and everything, but I'd still love to play this game. So have you played Biomutant before? Let me know down in the comments. And well, any news on whether this is legit or not, Obviously, I'll let you know. Sonic Frontiers? Okay, well, Sega has released a video of people's reactions after playing the game. Now, straight up, I'm gonna say, there's no way they were playing the Switch version, you know, because Sega's gonna want them to play the best version possible. So, you know, it's probably on a PlayStation or something like that. But almost everyone had something amazing to say, whether that's about the gameplay, the graphics, or, you know, just, whatever it was, they were had something good to say. Now, this is a Sega video. They are going to cherry pick all the best, you know, responses that they had. They, they're going to, they want to sell themselves. However, this does fill me with confidence because I really like the game from what I've seen so far. I know what they very, very first showed was a bit like, eh, what, what are you showing here? And now the more that goes on, the more we're seeing, the more I'm getting excited for Sonic Frontiers, right? And hopefully you are too. But yeah, I mean, I was a little bit skeptical at first. Now I'm getting a bit more hyped and obviously seeing the reactions from the Sega video that they've launched. Well, you know, it just makes me even more excited. But like I said, there's no way they were playing the Switch version because obviously that's going to be the most sort of downgraded version. But I'm still hopeful and I really want to be able to play this portably as with everything, right? That's my main push for the Switch is being able to play anywhere at any time and come home and play it on my TV when I want to, right? But anyway, it's looking like good news for Sonic Frontiers. I'm super hyped for the release of it later this year. So Play Asia have just turned 20. They've just you know, celebrated their 20th anniversary. And alongside that, they are now releasing their own game publishing branch. So what that means is they're actually going to be taking Japanese games and indie games and basically bringing them to our regions and in our languages as well. That is big news. That is really big news. I've been ordering from Play Asia for a, for a long, probably almost 20 years now, because I actually imported my original DS and my original PSP from Play Asia almost 20 years ago. So that's absolutely crazy to think about. <laughs> yeah, anyway, them having their own branch is massive news because there's tons of games that are only available in Japan that never see the light of day elsewhere. So if Play Asia are going to have their own publishing company and be sort of porting them over essentially, you know, like changing the languages and bringing them to different regions, that's amazing. My only concern is this is gonna be expensive. So, you know, the way they recoup cost is the price of these games. So hopefully the ones that they're working on to change the languages and all that good stuff, hopefully they're not like severely overpriced or like, you know, require importing with huge import tax, etc. Who knows, either way, at least there's gonna be an option to play it in our native languages, right? And I think that's epic. Splatoon 3 leaks. Apparently, I didn't read too much into this because again, I, I don't want spoilers and stuff, but apparently it's out there and there's parts of the game storyline and other stuff that is out there. I'm not 
included any spoilers here because I haven't even seen them myself because I'm steering clear, okay? And that's what I want you to do too. If you are into Splatoon and you're super hyped for Splatoon 3, maybe don't look at social media for the next few days regarding Splatoon because there's spoilers out there and the game launches in days, literally days. So save yourself some pain and just try and steer clear of it. But who is going to be getting Splatoon 3? I want to know, so let me know down in the comments. Okay, now my big news today is this, which is people have started emulating 3DS and Wii U games on the Steam Deck. And well, I've got my Steam Deck just here. Oh, oh wait, that's, that's right. I don't actually own a Steam Deck. <laughs> this is a Wii U gamepad. But what they're doing is they're using the Steam Deck as the gamepad. So they're going to be using the Steam Deck part as the part in your hands, and then the TV is basically replicating the TV side of it. So that's how they are having DS games, which are two screens, you know, dual screen, as well as the Wii U, which again was dual screen. They are actually emulating this along with gyro and everything else, which is crazy. And that got me thinking, is the Steam Deck the future of playing these games and making these games live on because with Nintendo now stopping the, you know, shutting down the eShop for the Wii U and the 3DS in March 2023, which really isn't very long, it's not very many months away, that's it. It's gone. No longer can you purchase these games properly or play on them either. And yes, okay, I have original hardware. I've got a Wii U. I've got multiple DS systems of 3DSs, blah, 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 blah. So I'm, I'm fine because I'm a, a collector. I have physical games. However, in the future, there's not gonna be any way of playing these games because, well, you think of Nintendo's current hardware, the Switch, it's a single screen device, right? All these games were made for dual screen devices. So they would have to ground up, remake all these games essentially to bring them over to the Switch and have them work like that. So unless Nintendo are gonna bring another dual screen system out someday, we'll probably never see these games again. And that's really sad because there is amazing games on the DS, on the 3DS, and some on the Wii U, but to be fair, the Wii U, most of them have come over, so the Switch anyway. So yeah, it kind of saddens me because pff, Nintendo have just kind of like given up on that whole thing. And I feel like maybe like the Switch 2 could integrate a bit of Wii U elements so that maybe you could use the actual handheld system as a gamepad whilst playing it on the TV. I don't know how that would be possible, but maybe? Because if not, well then like I said, all these games, that's it. There's, there's no way of playing them again unless you have original hardware like me. So maybe the only way that we can make these games continue and live on is by using something like the Steam Deck. Let me know your thoughts on this. It's a kind of a sad, time really <laughs> but yeah there we go that was switch news for today so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on any of the topics that i've covered here any news on the new direct that is totally going to happen within the next sort of four weeks from now you know some point maybe next week maybe in two weeks maybe in three four weeks who knows but there's there's gonna be a direct there surely has to be one right there's too many games that are gonna have to happen Anyway, any news I get on that or any of the topics I've talked about today, I will update you. So make sure you go down there and subscribe. Now, what you want to do is go over here and watch one of these two videos. Just do it. You know, there's a video just here where I talk about 3DS games and it's basically what you need to do. So you need to go buy some games now, but also take a look at some of the more recent ones that I purchased for myself as well. And then check out this video as well, which whatever it is, I don't know what it is yet. Just go and check this video out. Just, just watch it as well. Just watch both of these videos and subscribe. And after you've subscribed, go watch these videos. Just do it.